Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to write the structural Verilog code for 2 is to 4 decoder. So in my previous video I have shown how to write the structural Verilog code for 2 is to 1 max. So in this video we will see the same code that is structural for 2 to 4 decoder. Okay, so coming to the gate level description of the 2 to 4 decoder. So as I have said earlier if you are willing to write the structural code for any uh, that is boolean expression or any circuit then you need to draw first the gate level description of that one then only it will be easy for us to write the code so that's why i have written the gate level implementation for the 2 to 4 decoder so it will be having two inputs and four outputs so that's why it is called as 2 to 4 decoder and of course it will be having a enable pin so depending on the value of enable pin it will be in the offer on state so the significance of enable is such that if enable is equal to 0 at that time the 2 to 4 decoder will be operational and if it is if it becomes 1 at that time it will be in, in operational that is in off state i can say okay so if it is basically uh, active low enable so the inputs are a and b so i will be taking a bar and b bar if uh, i want then uh, i will be connecting to the four different nand gates one two three and four okay so uh, depending on this table i will be writing so if enable is equal to one at that time uh, it will not bother about what are the values of a and b so it will directly give the output all zero because uh, the decoder will be in the op state that is 0 0 0 and 0 so whenever enable becomes 0 at that time it will be operational and it will now check the conditions of a and b so a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 at that time it will be uh, giving y naught to the output so y naught will be high at that time so 0 0 0 and y naught will be high so others will be 0 and if it is so enable will be low for all the uh, operations that is y3 y2 y1 and y0 okay so when the a and b values is 0 1 at that time the y1 will be high so as you can see for g uh, for 1 that is for 0 the decimal equivalent is 0 0 for 1 the decimal equivalent is 0 1 for 2 it is 1 0 for 2 it is 1 0 for 3 it is 1 1 so like this it will be on or off okay so for 0 1 y1 will be high so 0 0 1 0 so just to remember i am telling the uh, trick so if you understood it well and good so if you don't understand then you can apply this trick okay so if the value of a b is 1 0 then uh, it is uh, basically the binary representation for 2 so the at that time y2 will be high and others will be 0 here and if it is 1 1 that is binary representation for 3 at that time y3 will be high and others will be 0 so like this we can create a trick table and depending on that one i will be connecting the um, connections here so for y0 to be output uh, y0 output to be high at that time uh, a bar b bar and enable bar should be connected so i am connecting enable bar b bar and a bar here and for y1 to be high the values of so anyhow enable bar will be connected to everything so enable bar enable bar enable bar and enable bar i have already connected so i will just check the values of a and b now so for y1 the a and b value should be 0 1 so a should be 0 means a bar should be connected and b should be 1 means b should be connected so a is in its complemented complement form and b is in its normal form okay so for uh, y2 to be high the value of a b is 1 0 so 1 means a will be in its normal form and b will be in its complemented form and for last combination that is for last that is y3 to be high the a and b value should be 1 1 so at that time i will be connecting a and b directly so it will be not using any complement in that case so like this i can draw the gate level representation so once you draw the grid level representation then it will become very easy for us to write the structural Verilog code so as everything is in front of us we just need to put it in the code format 
so i will just write now so module so this is a user defined name you can give anything so i have given decoder so specify the inputs and outputs so a b are the inputs and enable is the input and y is the output vector so why i have used vectors y not y1 y2 y3 will be included in the same variable y so input a input b so i have to i could have used small a and small b so if it is not confusing to you okay so output 3 is to 3 down to 0 so this is a vector format so it will be just like writing output y0 comma y1 comma y2 comma y3 so i have represented it in terms of the vector so that it will consume less lines so it is a vector representation so it will be just like writing uh, y3 y2 then y1 then y0 so i have written in the 3 down to 0 y format okay so then input enable bar so i have taken directly the enable bar equal to zero that is enable value is equal to zero so there is no need to make again the uh, inversion of the enable so i have taken or i am assumed that enable bar is equal to zero in every situation so these are the wires that is temporary variables which are going to be used in the program so a bar and b bar i have taken so that i can take the uh, uh, that is inversion of the a and b here so a bar i b bar are the wires then just take the inverse that is not n1 a bar will be the output and a will be the output so it will be a format like output comma input so for first not gate the input is a and the output will be a bar and for second not gate the input will be b and output will be b bar okay so for uh, now coming to the first and gate that is and a1 so this is the user defined name which you can give anything and these are also user defined names here so this is standard this is standard and these are all the intermediate which you are writing like n1 n2 a1 a2 that are uh, user defined so they are left to the programmer whatever he wants he can give so and uh, a1 so this will first term will be the output and others will be the input of the uh, in this uh, format so y not is the output for this and gate and inputs are a bar b bar and enable bar so a bar b bar and enable bar are the inputs and similarly for a2 y1 will be the output and a bar b comma enable bar will be the input and similar same steps should be followed for the next two gates so that is a3 and a4 so y2 and y3 will be output for them and a comma b bar will be the input and a comma b will be the input for the last uh, and gate that is this a and b is the input and of course enable bar will be present every time so then we have to end the module so we have opened a module here then we have to end the module so uh, whatever which is written below this module is not executed at, as it is um, treated like a garbage or a comment so uh, if you want to write anything then you have to write inside this end module so whatever program we are writing you have to write in between these two lines in case of the very log code so this is how you can write the code for 2 to 4 decoder easily so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching